And now we will move to our opening keynote, and it's our great pleasure to introduce Mr. Abdul Karim Al Ghamdi, Vice President of Project Management Team at Saudi Aramco. Mr. Abdul Karim Al Ghamdi is Saudi Aramco's Vice President for Project Management. He has over 20 years of experience of making measurable contributions towards Saudi Aramco's strategic and commercial goals. He has worked in numerous fields including planning, project management, budgeting, international joint ventures, upstream oil and gas, downstream refining distribution, power systems, and as well, new ventures. Mr. Ramdi holds a master's degree in chemical engineering from University of Pittsburgh and a bachelor's degree in chemical engineering from King Fahd University of Petroleum and Minerals. He also attended Harvard Business School from 2011-2012. Mr. Al-Ghamdi holds various board members' positions as well within government societies. He was the ex-chairman of Fadili Co-Generation Company, member of the board of Saudi Aramco and Dow Chemical Company, Sadara, Saudi Electricity Company, Saudi Energy Efficiency Center, member of Design Integrated Gasification, ex-chairman of the National Power Academy, ex-chairman of Aramco Power, and ex-board member for Marafaq Company and Co-Generation Plant Company. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome to the stage Mr. Abdul Karim Al Ghamdi for his speech. Assalamu alaikum wa sabah khair jami'an. First of all, I would like to thank uh, Badr Porsche, the BMI in general, as well as uh, Saudi Aramco's and uh, the participants. Uh, I can see a number of our partners are here, a number of vendors are also attending, and uh, we have a large number of people already uh, attending virtually. So we'd like to welcome everybody. Uh, this is a really a great event. I remember Badr at that time, when he came and he said, you know, there is a lot of emphasis within our project as a project management, trying to deploy technologies, advanced technologies, uh, digital solutions for the sake of creating value at the end of the day, not for the sake of just, you know, bringing volumes. So we are more into the value. Then he said, why can't we really have something uh, well structured where we invite all parties involved? And we have uh, selected, you know, important uh, subject that could add, bring, uh, and value to everybody, but also bring alignment. Because at, at the end of the day, you know, advancing, uh, advanced solutions as well as uh, technologies, uh, those are going to be successful when all of us are fully integrated all together from an engineering, talking about the EBCs, talking about the vendors of suppliers, but that uh, ecosystem integrated all together will bring the success, ensuring accelerated deployment of advanced technology and accelerate and uh, digital solutions. My speech is uh, two hours. So, uh, <laughs> so I decided actually to make it in a few minutes, but uh, better talked about number of areas uh, or briefly when we started in Saudi Aramco, you know, we started uh, uh, with a lot of scouting of technology and digital solutions years ago. Uh, well, at that time, uh, we were uh, trying to integrate to call everybody just to identify the best that can uh, bring our project to be and uplift our project to be the best worldwide. Uh, then and later after that, we said, uh, you know, we would like to better structure it. So we started with what we call is the CMS, the Capital Management System. Well, capital Management System is a well-established system within Saudi Aramco where uh, track or manage the project from day one up to uh, startup, up to a uh, full startup of the projects. And throughout that capital management system, we have established uh, very robust uh, clear identifications of uh, technologies and digital solutions from the start. 
So even from the thinking stage, you know, uh, part of our CMS, what we have, the project sc scoping paper. So that project scoping paper is our starting point where we map all potential technologies and digital solutions that can bring value to our projects. On top of that, we have even, by the way, established our internal processes. So it's not a one-man show. It is everybody contributing in the company to identify the right technology and solutions. So accordingly, an engineer that start a fresh graduate that just start uh, his or her career in the company, they are engaged, they are involved. And the process goes up to the highest level where every individual uh, is integrated, uh, part of the process to scout or identify the right technologies and digital solution. As a result of that CMS process, well mapped, well managed and tracked, everybody is integrated. And now even by the way, we started the, uh, working very closely with our engineering offices. We have eight engineering offices in Kingdom. We uh, have been now uh, in review of their, uh, you know, technology and solutions that are being adopted, uh, 3D or 4D, augmented reality, uh, smart uh, eye plants, all of that. Those are things that have been now integrated. And we are working now with our EBC contractors. The national EBCs is an area, by the way, that we are working on, and they will be fully integrating or deploying a technology from being, uh, you know, uh, residing out of kingdom to the kingdom. And in the construction also, which is an area of focus that I will talk about, is an area that uh, we are trying to integrate part of the total ecosystem. So we have now the platform, the CMS, we have the people within are integrated, working together from day one, and we have our partners, formal engineering firms, partners, as well as construction. So all of that system helped actually big time, significant increase on the number of digital and technology deployment within the company. We have uh, scored a very high level in uh, project management and digital maturity. In our technology, we have uh, adopted uh, one of the uh, very robust, uh, well-established platform is enterprise project management, as an example, the EPM, where we manage and monitor our project from A to Z. By the way, it's the only, it is the unique, it's the only system I think it's available everywhere globally is the EPM. Very well structured, very detailed, where we manage and monitor the process of project from A to Z. We have adopted the digital twins a number of our projects. Our plan to increase uh, majority of our project will adopt digital twins. And from now up to 2024, we'll have additional 50 projects. We are adopting uh, 120 new digital solutions uh, from now up to year 2024. Uh, so uh, we have uh, now adopted, by the way, what we call uh, smart uh, safety solutions. It's not the physical way of people going around the project and monitoring safety. Now, we have, we have the old-fashioned way, the physical way, but we have the smart solutions now where we track the safety in any of our sites. We track the movement of heavy trucks. We track the weather conditions. Uh, we track the mobility of uh, people in and out. So it helped us to better track safety, but also better monitor project uh, progress. So when you go and look at our projects, very advanced with the latest technology and digital solutions. There are areas that we are still working on, and hopefully this event is important uh, where we can talk about the potential areas that can be adopted and accelerated. So that's an area that uh, now Aramco has been doing outstanding with a significant deployment of a lot of technologies. And uh, we are expecting actually, uh, you know, uh, this session to be a session where uh, latest uh, advanced solutions can be discussed. And the feedback from your side is so important, so integral to us. We have seen uh, fragmented effort, by the way. You know, vendors, they come and they market their own technologies or EBC contractors. So that fragmentation where it needs to be integrated, so we really have 
one solution, a powerful solution that can bring the max value is an area that needs to be looked at. Also, uh, what we have looked at, the uh, construction portion, uh, the execution, when you, when you look at, uh, for example, uh, we are trying to uh, ensure the green portion of the construction is an area that needs to be looked at, and we have a number of focus areas uh, to, uh, to adapt the technology during the executions of the projects. We are adapting uh, also a lot of uh, digital uh, solutions uh, programs, uh, specialty programs, by the way, and we are in the thinking stage of putting uh, specialty programs for digital and technology uh, in order to really uh, develop our uh, youngs uh, to be master or, uh, or SMEs and those type of solutions. So uh, those type of areas that really need collaboration between us and you about the uh, potential areas that need more focus, which is mainly to, from my side. Uh, also construction is an area that really need to be more attention, but also how can we develop uh, people to be more into uh, adoptions of those uh, smart solutions. Also the contractors, by the way, the peoples within the EPCs, how can they be developed or trained in order to adopt or deploy, uh, you know, those type of solutions and uh, technologies. So that's an area that, uh, that uh, need to be uh, looked at. And, uh, on top of that, uh, we have seen, by the way, uh, challenges of uh, COVID. A uh, number of companies are recovering, uh, EBC contractors recovering. Uh, you have seen the market is, is significantly increasing. So it is a great opportunity now, actually, to adopt those solutions in order to optimize the cost of that uh, sudden peak and an increase in commodities logistics, all of that. So I think this is where we have to work much more innovative, creative during this time where the cost has peaked uh, significantly, how to uh, deploy the uh, right technology and digital solution really to optimize the uh, cost, but also to ensure that uh, you know, we deliver the quality and safety that we are expecting. So this event is important, uh, rise, uh, revolution, and uh, smart uh, uh, solutions uh, uh, is, uh, is important. Uh, I like a theme, by the way, uh, that uh, we really need always now to shift our project to be year by year, to be much more advanced, much more smarter. And I think this is a theme that we need to adopt in every year event. And there will be good, uh, hopefully, on the next event, there will be another review of where we stand on the solutions. And also might be PMI that will be good to even ensure that uh, contributions is coming from every uh, individual party. So we have that mix between, uh, uh, between the, the organizations, uh, the companies, as well as the partners and uh, a regular review of where do we stand on the rise uh, with certain measures that can show where we stand year by year. I think that's an area that we can adopt for future considerations. However, I'm happy, by the way, to be a part of this uh, great event. Uh, I was talking to Tony. Hopefully, PMI could be a regional hub here in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Uh, the number of massive projects that we have in the kingdom uh, is really significant. And, uh, and you have seen a lot of uh, activities going around, and uh, we would like really PMI to localize their knowledge for SMEs or offices in the kingdom uh, in order to accelerate or integrate as many as possible. But thank you again for uh, the people who organized this event. Uh, I know it wasn't an easy to bring uh, 140 people uh, today attending this uh, important conference. I think we have 1,000 or whatever in the virtual. So we have 1,000 plus people attending virtually. And tomorrow will be, uh, the whole day will be uh, virtual. But uh, truly it shows how people are interested to be part of this, uh, this great and important event. So thank you all. Enjoy your day.